Hello everybody and welcome to this video where this is the end of all of the holiday visiting friends and family, taking them around town kind of vlog and then we're going to get back to normal content. So here it is. This was my trip to the tar pits. Took some friends and family out for a day. And we went to a bunch of different places, so you'll see it all here. Um, this is an actual live pit they're digging in. And you can't really see right there, but there's like some big ass hip bones coming out of the tar down there. So if you've seen La Brea, I guess this is what that's about. So that's interesting. There's all sorts of animals and creatures and shit like that. I love this place. It's so much fun. If you're into like fossils and shit like that, this is really cool. And that's, they do it right in front, but we got there too late and they were kind of done for the day. Which sucks, because I love watching them clean that shit. Those were teeth. Now this is Hollywood Forever Cemetery and there's a bunch of peacocks that just kind of roam the grounds and um, they're very brave and they're fucking huge and when I got up close to this one I was like oh my god it's so gorgeous look at it and then I saw it's fucking talons and I was like oh my god please don't jump at me please don't try to kill me Mr. Peacock um but yeah, I mean, those things are just fucking beautiful. And there's one there and one over there. They're all over the place. And there's Mel Blanc. That's all, folks. can't believe it doesn't say that. Oh, it does say that. I was like, I'm looking down. I'm like, why doesn't it say that? That is, um, oh, shit, I can't remember his name now. Who was the reflecting pool for? Not Tyrone Power. Um, maybe Douglas Fairbanks. And this is just the coolest fucking little monument thing here for him. Johnny fucking Ramon, dude. So cool. And there's quotes all around it. I just, you know, whatever. And then there's a bunch of people here who have all these, like, monuments made to them. And I have no idea who the fuck they are. Um, it's just one of those things where there's a lot of people in Hollywood who think they're a bigger deal than they are. And... Or, I just don't know who the fuck they are. And there's, if you like, Gone with the Wind. That's a thing. Uh, Mickey Rooney is in the wall crit behind all this. If you're interested in all that. And then over um, behind the wall is the, um, I think it's the Paramount lot. So that's kind of interesting. If you dig, like, movies and TV and shit, like, this is pretty cool. Yeah, Mickey Rooney's over in that building across the road right there. And I don't know who this chick is. And this is a musician, actor, model, something, but I have no idea who that is. Harrison somebody. I don't know. And 
I can't read what that says. I don't remember. This This was like a few weeks ago, so I don't remember exactly everyone we were looking at. But yeah, this weird bench with three owls on it, it was kind of weird. And I, there wasn't anything on it, so I have no idea what the fuck it's there for. So, all sorts of fun shit. <laughs> Oh, dude, this food was so good. Pilau rice, chicken tikka masala, some cheese naan and garlic naan. Oh, my gosh, I was dying. So good. And that's downtown LA in the distance. But where are we? Where are we? Oh, we are there. At the Griffith Observatory. So if you've seen Paula Abdul's Rush Rush video or Jim, uh, Jimmy Dean, James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause, you will know. There is the Hollywood sign. And now this building here, um, I don't know if you've ever seen it when I shoot out my window, but you could see the observatory from my apartment. <clears throat> and these are all the astronomers. And this is that thing, that pendulum that tells time by the motion of the earth. Um, it's kind of interesting. There's all sorts of cool shit at the observatory, but for some reason, I don't know why, but that place was packed. Crispy pork gang! And this is, what did I get here? Um, it's not as, like, colorful and beautiful as the Indian food at the last place. Oh, that Hal bumper sticker. It's like Hal if you like City Lights books. And I just got fries because we were waiting forever to get food. So I was just like, give me, oh my God, look at this bathroom. This bathroom is fucking amazing. Look at all this graffiti. Oh my God, it's so cool. I love the graffiti on the paintings. That is just classic. I was so mad I didn't have a Sharpie on me or something. Oh, I could have stayed in there for like, like the one time I don't have to stay in the bathroom for a long time. Yeah, so there was this fire. These happen actually all the freaking time, which is weird. But um, I happened to be on the roof and I looked out and there's this big giant smoke cloud. And I'm like, oh, there's a fire. So um, that was that. Good times, good times. And there is the Chapa. Oh, there's an observatory right there on the hill. I don't know if you saw that, but it was right um, to the right of the screen. Um, so that's my place to the observatory. Yeah, fireman. Interesting. So, now this right here, I can't remember what night this was, but there was um, some dude and a chick into a fight over a shopping cart, knocked the shopping cart over, and they started running around and going through it and coming back and going through it and fighting, and then this dude in the building grabs a baseball bat and comes out and just goes nuts on him. And, like, makes one go one way and the other go the other way. And, like, um, he was just ready to swing, dude. He's like, you're making too much noise. Get out of here. Don't mess with me. And he's, like, just this older dude. And he told me some crazy story the other day about um, him pulling a gun on some dude trying to break into the mailboxes and shit, like, years and years ago. Like, I'm like, you're nuts, bro. Hey, everybody. I am getting my brakes done on the car. But look at all these awesome buildings. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm down on um, Figueroa and Adams. 
near the shrine. And here's a different view of downtown. Down there. Let's see if we can. No, we can't do that. Okay. But yeah, so I'm just hanging out. Hello, everybody. Um, I was about to go out to the ATM so I could pay a bill. And, um, oh, maybe it's over. Nope, he's coming back. Um, there is a on-foot police chase with an armed suspect, and they had to close off the street. And yeah, the helicopter's right above. So yeah, so I'm gonna wait a minute before um, I go out to do that. Super cool because right here as you're gonna see in a moment and trying to watch what was going on with the cops and everything I step in a pothole completely twist my ankle and I'm wearing flip-flops and cut like my foot the top of my foot up and shit and all these people in the fucking crosswalk just started fucking cracking up laughing at me brilliant Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Oh my god, I think I'm bleeding. And then this right here, there were just, I missed it, and all of a sudden there's like 15 cops out in front of my apartment, like having a powwow about what they're gonna do when they get in. And that was whatever the fuck that was, a bunch of stuff that went down over the last couple weeks. So, not a whole lot of um, poet stuff in there, but you can get. This now, probably, Poetic Anarchy Volume 3, out now on Amazon. Links are probably down below. So that's cool. There's some poetry news for you. So get on that. So keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.